Hello everybody and thank you much for watching. This is me, Mr. P. A couple of days ago, I received a message from one of you guys on a Samsung DeX subreddit group asking me how to get Samsung DeX pushed to a Chromecast wirelessly. So that is what we're going to do in this video. We're going to try to investigate exactly what you need, what kind of uh, gadgets, equipments, and etc. you need to get Samsung DeX wirelessly being pushed from your Galaxy device to a Chromecast. Let's begin. The idea for this would be, let's say you are in a conference room and you want to present your Samsung DeX screen on the bigger monitor, which has Chromecast enabled. There is obviously a ways to get this around. For example, if you have a lab dock with the HDM with a USB type A out, what that will allow you is you're going to have your Samsung DeX going into USB type C, but then having like a display adapter or something pushed out from here into the HDMI cable, which will go into a bigger monitor. But let's say if you have a laptop which doesn't have USB type A port, like for example, you perfect X, which only has USB type C for charging USB type C for connecting Galaxy devices. Obviously it has a mini HDMI port, but it's not HDMI out or also only HDMI in. So how to get that kind of thing pushed. So in this video, I'm going to use my Note 9 and my Galaxy Tab 6 to show you probably all the possible ways how to get Samsung DeX pushed into Google Chromecast enabled device. So first thing, what you will need for this video. First, I might just gonna show you the easiest one, and then we're gonna go and I'll show you the more complicated one and etc. So most easiest one would be to get Samsung DeX pushed to a Chromecast is from a Galaxy tablet. So I'm just gonna take my stylus out, just gonna be easier for me to navigate through the DeX. So on my Galaxy Tab S6, I'm just gonna go and turn the DeX on. So Samsung DeX is starting on my Galaxy Tab S6, and here on the on the oh, basically in front of me, there is an ultra wide monitor, but I have Chromecast Ultra connected to this uh, monitor, so that's how I'm going to use the Chromecast device. So inside my tablet, what I need to do basically, I'm already inside the Samsung DeX, as you can see, I'm opening App Draw. So what I need to do here is just need to find the app called Google Home, and that's it. I'm running Google Home on my Samsung DeX. Um, and basically, it's so Google Home. If you don't know what a Google Home is, it's just basically you're probably living under the rock. Google Home is it gets you all your smart devices in one place. Google Chromecast Ultra is a smart device. So inside here, I'm just gonna go and find my whole home office TV. I'm just gonna tap on that. And that's exactly what I'm seeing on my tablet. That's the wallpaper I'm seeing on my ultra wide monitor. I'm just gonna tap on, on the cast my screen, cast screen. I get the uh, Samsung message thing start uh, recording or casting, etc. Basically, you're gonna see exactly what's on the, monitor, on the Galaxy tablet on the screen as well. So I'm gonna say start now. And as you can see right now, I have the, the tablet showing, or the monitor showing exactly what the tablet is showing. So if I'm gonna bring the camera closer, so this is based, let me minimize it. So this is a Samsung DeX displayed on a Chromecast. And this is the tablet showing the same Chromecast. So if I'm gonna keep opening, the app draw, hopefully you can see the delay between what I see on a screen and what I see on this screen. There is a slight delay, but this is not the big deal when you're doing a presentation because you're just gonna use a slideshow. And one second or less or more of response time is not the big deal because you're just swapping the slideshows. You can't do any, high, let's say, high-end action games or racing games in this kind of setup. But once you have your tablet, and you're walking around the office and you're doing presentation, you can walk around and just like make annotations, etc. Obviously, yes, I can cast my tablet screen on its own to the, um, to the monitor, but I would say this way, when you need to, let's say you're sitting somewhere in a conference and with a mouse, you're just amending something or amending a document to while everybody's seeing that document. This, it is usable when it's like, it's, this is easy to use, sorry, oh, that's what I was trying to say, so while you're using the tablet, uh, because the tablet has a built-in native DeX support, what that means, you can run DeX output within the tablet screen. But what to do when you have the phone? So what I'm gonna do next is just gonna get the uh, casting of my screen terminated. So we're just gonna close that. And then we're gonna go and gonna get this one all set up on my phone. With the phone is a slightly trickier situation just because the Samsung DeX can't be displayed on the phone just natively. The Samsung is not allowing that. So there is a trick to do that. It's basically having the Samsung DeX picture looped back into the Samsung DeX environment into the app called USB Camera Connect. 
In this case, I'm going to use the just Ugreen USB C Hub. I mentioned that uh, in a couple of videos before that um, do you don't need to have a specific USB C Hub as long as your USB C Hub triggers Samsung Dex, that will work. And right now, I'm just going to get my HDMI cable, plug in in USB Type C Hub, then connect this cheap video capture card, which I'm just going to plug in this way and go into that. So this is, that's what's happened. So it's a loop. And what's, what, that, what it does, it pushes a Samsung DeX picture from your Galaxy phone through the, into the USB-C hub, out via HDMI cable and back into video capture card, which then being detected by the app inside your phone. On, the, on your Galaxy phone, you need to go to Google Play Store and download the app called USB Camera Connect. I will leave a links in the description below. One link will be for free version and another link will be for paid version. I'm using a paid version because there's no ads and just I like the app. So if I'm going to search for app called USB Camera Connect and when you run it, that's basically what it's going to look like. It just says, please connect a USB webcam, easy cap or UVC video grabber device. So basically this is that I think it's got the microchip, easy cap microchip inside and that's why it's going to get triggered. So right now, if I'm going to connect this all into my Note 9, I hopefully should be able to see the picture going. So HDMI connected, I'm just going to hold like this. And as you can see, I have my Samsung DeX showing on my Note 9. Oh, how all this working? I already done a video uh, before. I'll leave a link in there. actually two videos. One is pushing Samsung DeX to a Note 4 and one is pushing Samsung DeX back into Note 9. I will do that because it's just give you more explanation, more demonstration how it's all working. But right now I have a Samsung DeX running on my phone. So what I'll do now, I'm just going to Go on my phone, go and find the Google Home app, the same way I done on a tablet. Find the, the Home Office TV, the smart um, Chromecast device. And I'm just going to say, do exactly thing what I did on my tablet. Just going to say cast the screen. Yes, I accept with that. And I accept that I want to cast the screen. And what you see on, on here is output of my phone. But instead of showing my phone screen, I'm just going to say show the actual app. So I'm right now running the app. So if I'm going to go and turn the mouse into the number two, so on the, on the, on the app, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Inside my note nine, if I'm going to right click, as you can see, I'm opening the, the notifications. I can open the app drawer. So opening app drawer, closing app drawer, opening and closing. The same happens on here. So when I'm going into a conference room, for example, and I want to present something, that's all I can take with me is my note nine all this connection thing and some sort of a Bluetooth mouse, which will be connected to my Note 9, which then will be outputting the DeX picture on here on the screen. And now I'm just going to, let's say, I'm going to hold all this. This is basically wireless. Nothing's, nothing's attached to the monitor. And I can control this then on my, on my biggest picture and move the apps, like app opening, app draw, closing, app draw. I can go into uh, Google Chrome and op uh, open the best website in the world. So it's loading now. Here you go, Samsung DeX, Samsung DeX Group website opens up, opens up, and that's what I see on my phone. So the, I already mentioned Apply It, the performance of this is not great. Um, it's laggy, it's like one second to one and a half seconds behind. But this kind of setup is useful when you don't have any other option. So this is like a last straw. This is like a saving grace if, you, if you're gonna go and get this kind of setup. So. You, you get obviously the aspect ratio of this ultra wide um, 54 inches monitor is not great. And I mean, not great, it's just chopping the output, the black bars either side. But let's say you're pushing this to a 1080p 16 by 9 aspect ratio monitor, all of this will be looking much, much better just because of um, just the monitor size will be different. So it's laggy, it's not best performance, but when you have no other option, this kind of setup will save you when you need to do presentation or power with slideshow or anything like that. And you just don't have any other option. <sighs> I'm done. Okay. Basically, <laughs> thank you very much uh, for everyone who watched this. Uh, thank you for, I think it's called Mr. M Mr. Dex guy. That's the person who suggested this. Uh, he sent me actually this message uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, I read it through first time, but then I just remembered and read it this morning. I felt like, oh shoot, I need to do this. I need to record this video for you guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Don't forget, go and join this group. Go and join this group. There's like 13.2 thousand people right now are members of this group and we're helping each other to get make sure that Samsung DeX 
just gets more attention out there and hopefully then Samsung is just going to keep uh, developing and uh, making even greater and better and etc etc and if you like this kind of content let me know not let me know but subscribe to my channel I'm I've been tired today so I, I'm struggling for, for words anyway thank you much for watching and I'll see you in the next one goodbye